evening, welcome. It's another review, and uh, by the way, I'm going to call these reviews The Evening Toy. So tonight's Evening Toy is going to be KFC's Heavy Metal Crash Hog and Dump Yard 2-pack, which are obviously uh, homages to uh, Retgar and uh, another Junkie Owen, which uh, they've called Dump Yard. I don't know if he has a canonical name. But um, here they are, quite happy with these. I'm a big fan of the Junkie Owens. Um, I'm only going to have two complaints with these guys. Uh, and one of them is the size. They're quite big. I'm going to show you a comparison right away. Uh, this is the Generations Retgar with Trash Heap, I think. So you can see that it's uh, quite a bit bigger. Um, now I guess these are supposed to be Masterpiece scale, but uh, right off the bat, I think they're too big. Other than that, they're great. Uh, let me show you a few comparisons. So let's focus on Retgar first, Crash Hog. So, funny story, I went into Ages 3 and up to buy these guys and I uh, looked around. I saw them in the display case, so I thought, great, they probably have them in stock. Um, but I couldn't find them, I had to ask for help. And, uh, you know, they were right at the front, but because of these cardboard boxes, I completely overlooked them. I saw everything else in the store except these guys. Um, so I guess it's a good thing I asked. Um, Kind of nice little box though. I mean, it makes sense for the character, and it's got a quote from the movie there. Same as on Dump Yard. Love that quote. This is early release 2016, so um, I don't know if there's going to be any alterations to these down the line. One other thing I had noticed was this accessory. I thought I didn't get. This is that uh, thing that he beats on in the movie. Um, Everywhere I looked online, it says this comes with Retgar, with uh, Crash Hog, but he wasn't in the package. This actually was in the package for Dumpyard, the other junkie on. So just be careful of that. Um, I got mine in the two pack, but the two pack was just those two boxes I showed you uh, stuck together with a rubber band. So I'm thinking this is always going to be coming with uh, Dumpyard, not with the Retgar Crash Hog. So just be careful if you care about that accessory, which by the way opens up and you can store pieces like the struts inside there. You may have noticed I haven't attached the struts onto this guy in bike mode. Um, you can do it either way. So this this is how, how it looks. The bikes are essentially the same, you know, as apart from some details. So this is how it looks with the struts. This is how it looks. You can just plug it in between the elbows. I kind of like it this way. I like the stubby look. But uh, of course it's up to you how you display yours. To do this, you just had to push this bar up out of the way and kind of angle it. That normally is folded down to hold the struts. It's got a peg that it has to get up out of the way, so just fold it up and let it sit on an angle. And I like it stubby like that. And there's also a kickstand on either side. These are both made of metal. Uh, Retgar has the little storage boxes or saddlebags, which are very cool. You can store the little TV accessory or the little, these little guys in there if you want to, I guess. Because these fall off all the time. Uh, <clears throat> there's these little fiddly guys. Um, I'm just trying to show all the bike stuff first. Uh, Crash Hog, Retcar, actually comes packaged in bot mode, whereas Dumpyard comes packaged in bike mode like this. And they both come with a uh, comic book slash instruction book with some very nice artwork and they come with their bag of accessories. That's Crash Hogs. With this, I took the struts out of here and one gun. This is a still sealed dump yard accessory pack here. It comes with a sword and slightly different weapons. I don't know what these plugs are for yet. Um, so yeah, these are the struts that would go on Retgar. I don't know what to call them. Do I call it by the the toy's name or the proper name. Anyway, um, just some size comparisons before I transform it. There's a Combiner Wars Optimus mold. There's a uh, Classics and a Masterpiece car in robot mode. Uh, sorry, I don't have any in car mode. So I guess 
I guess you could have smoke screen riding Rekgar. That would sort of work. But you'll see in robot mode, Rekgar is going to be taller than all these guys. He's about the height of uh, the, the new masterpiece Ironhide and Ratchet. Which I think is a bit big. I, I would have been happy with a smaller, smaller toy. So let's take a look at the robot mode. Alright, so here's our buddy Rekgar, I mean Crash Hog, in his robot mode, looking mighty fine. And he, yes, he can ride the other bike. Just wanted to get that out of the way immediately. Um, it's not a bad riding pose, but um, still, again, he, he just looks too big for that bike. Um, here's the Generations mode doing the same thing. Uh, pulling it off slightly better, I think. This these uh, this old version has um, pegs in his crotch, which fit into the seat, so you can snap him right in place there. It was obviously designed for that, and uh, that's a nice touch. And you can get his hands on the handlebars here. Legs are a bit awkward, but uh, it does work pretty well. I think the size is more proportional this way. Again, this this guy's just massive. Um, you know, he's, of course he's supposed to be Masterpiece scale, but um, let me give you an idea of how big he is here. Okay, so here he is with Masterpiece Ratchet. You can see he's actually a little bit taller. Just about a centimeter taller, perhaps. Well, actually Ratchet's not standing at his full height, so maybe they're about the same. They're, they're pretty close. And again, Masterpiece Car, he just towers over him. And the classics. So he's almost as big as MP Prime. And that's really my only issue with this figure. I just think it was too damn big. I think he should have been about the same size as a Masterpiece Car. Other than that, though, he's really good. Um, you know, pretty poseable. The transformation isn't too bad. It's it's just difficult to um, to get the handlebars tucked under the, the this part here. All that stuff has to pack away in here and actually slide under under this piece here. Um, if you want to see the whole transformation, um, I recommend checking out Bobby Skullface's channel, and he goes through all that in detail. Um, I just didn't want to do it here because it's already been done and it's going to take a long time. Uh, so yeah, not much of a backpack. You know, kibble is minimal. This flips up so that he can ride on the bike. I think that's why. These uh, saddlebags can open up. See, I've stored his wing mirrors in there. And they, they also kind of come off, usually by accident, but they, these will pop off. And these, as I say, you can put these in any of the plugs where you don't want them. Um, same with the wheels, these just snap in and off wherever you want them to go. You can put them on the shoulder, the elbow, the leg, the knee, or just take them off all together, build a weapon out of it. Um, these are removable. I think that's just to keep them from breaking, probably. The head sculpt's magnificent. I mean, that is... A really good likeness of Rekgar. Very nice. Uh, these move back and forth so you can angle them. If you, you, know, you don't want them all the way out, you just pull them back a little bit. Um, maybe the orange is a bit off. This could be a little bit darker, I think. It's not exactly the colors from the movie, but it's pretty damn close. These, uh, of course, it's got these KFC hands, which, you know, love them or hate them, um, a bit fiddly, but they're good quality, they're solid, doesn't feel like they're going anywhere. Um, I guess for a record, it's good, you can make them, get them in some expressive poses, which is nice. Yeah. Metal. That's good. Mm. Oh, metal pieces. Uh, everyone loves die-cast metal, right? So these thigh pieces are die-cast metal, 
and his feet. This is diecast metal here, so it gives him a good, um, good balance. And was there anything else? I thought there was something in the chest. Yeah. No, I think that's it. Um, there's a gimmick where you can take this part out here and swap it with the other guy, uh, which is cool. And you know, you can take off his little accessories and plug them in on here. You can mix and match, do a lot of parts mix swapping, so that so as to um, customize them. So you know, if you bought these two guys, you could you could make more junkions out of these. And I think there are more coming in the future. So that's going to be great. You know, and there are some different pieces on this guy. Oops. Uh, see his legs are different. He's got the wheels molded in here to make it uh, accurate to the show or the uh, the movie rather. Uh, these become the chest. Of course, those are different. Um, actually, even the handlebars are different. He he's got these uh, curved sort of horn-like handlebars, which is cool. Whereas his retguards are just straight. So that's kind of neat. Um, and uh, these are just plugged in there. Oh, and he's got this little tail thing here that's different. This, of course, is the waist, which is different. Uh, different design on the hips. Sorry I'm not showing this guy in robot. I haven't transformed him yet. I'll probably show this guy in robot mode. And these are gray here, of course. You know, So, it's, of course, it's different paint and stuff. But Again, he's huge. And I'd be remiss not to show off uh, Dump Yard here. He looks quite good. I've got the shoulder pads attached on here and these bits here. Um, he's got some spikes you can plug into his knees there. Don't have them... I haven't actually unwrapped everything yet. So this is the accessory pack that comes with Dump Yard. There's the spikes I mentioned. These little plugs, I don't know what they're for. It looks like you could... It kind of looks like an adapter. Like you could plug this into a hole and then plug something else onto it, but... I don't see any of the accessories having holes on them, really. Um, I do like this sword. This, this looks like one of Cloud Strife's swords. Um, his guns are... Oh, wait a minute. He's got one of... Two different guns, actually. Is that the same? Yeah. That, uh, hmm. No, those are different. Those are different than Retgar's guns. Retgar, or Crash Hog, comes with these two guns. So there are actually... Actually, four different... Pistols, which is kind of nice. Um, this is Retgar again, so he has this, you know, for his, to you combine this with the, uh, the two motorcycle struts, and you make his axe. These fit together, right? Um, and he has this is awesome. I love the, the little TV he comes with. You talk TV, I talk some TV, and now the news. Still with eleven. These plugs again. He's already got his spikes on him. He has four. Uh, Dump Yard only has two, but he has all these other four accessories with him. And of course he has wheels and struts as well. I just stuck one wheel in there. Um, now, a lot of the other videos on YouTube, at least at the time I make this, are the pre-production samples. Um, and these are the retail ones. I just bought these at the store the other day. So, a couple of differences I noticed. Take a look at Retgar's face. You can see that um, he has a beige face with brown beard and on the pre-production it looks like he had a silver face with black beard so that's something to be aware of and uh, I think also there were some differences on the coloration here on the uh, crush plates I think this was a different color on the pre-prod the pre-prod um, dump yard I'm not sure if I noticed any differences So just to bring the point home, uh, the problem with this figure is just where do you display him in your collection? Uh, this is him towering over the masterpiece cars. Uh, again, he's about the same size as Ironhide and Ratchet, about the same size as your Generations Jetfire there, um, almost as tall as MP10 Optimus Prime. He is, he's about a head shorter. If I had him. I can't really tell from the camera perspective, but that's about a level height right there. Too damn big. Here he is with the Fans Project Dinobots. 
here he is next to Grimlock. This is the regular masterpiece Grimlock with his high heel shoes on from uh, Fans Project. So, yeah, it comes up to about Grimlock's chin. Uh, so, where else can we put him? Let's see. He is just slightly taller than your masterpiece Seekers. Here he is with the combiners. At least he is not as tall as a combiner, but he is taller than any individual component. Now this is where I wanted to put him in my display. He was going to go on my movie shelf, but he's just way too big for that. Um, I mean, I don't expect him to scale with the Generation Springer or the Cup and the, those guys, you know. But um, and yes, this um, Mania King is. Uh, Classic scale. He's not. Um, he's more of a chug scale. Not. Uh, not masterpiece scale. Uh, Astro Train there is not masterpiece scale. Ultra Magnus is masterpiece scale. And let me get him out of there. And that's how he stacks up to. Hey, stacks up to Ultra Magnus. Right up to his chest. Here is the old uh, masterpiece Rodimus Prime, and at least he's taller, but not by much. This is Rodimus Prime, bear in mind. The masterpiece Hot Rod would probably come up to his waist. So yeah, that's my only beef with this guy. He's so close to being perfect, um, just way too big. Oh, I almost forgot. Ba weep, grana weep, ninny bong.